Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be starting a brand new YouTube series. So if you do not know, the Cottage Living Pack is now out for The Sims and it is so heckin' good from what I've seen so far. So much so I have decided to start a new gameplay series and I am literally so excited. I'm really excited to just be able to explore the pack through gameplay with you lot over here on YouTube. If you do enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments if you are excited for this series and don't forget to subscribe and turn on those post notifications. Okay, let me introduce you to the sims that we are going to be using in this series. I made them last night in Cass. Never made elderly sims before, but I'm super happy with how it turned out. So we have got Mabel Jones and Mabel is married over here to Arthur Jones. I don't know why Arthur's got a line on his forehead. I think it is the skin detail that I used. We're just going to ignore the line. It's a wrinkle. So Arthur and... Oh no. Arthur and Mabel are the parents of Anita Jones and this is what Anita looks like and Anita is the mother of little Penny Jones. Isn't she adorable? Aww. Super super cute. However there has been an accident with Anita. So after an accident in her apartment in San Michono, Anita has unfortunately passed away. So what this now means for our story is that little Penny has now lost her mother. Um, so she has to move in with her grandparents and live a life with them, learning how to live on the farm. The grandparents have, oh no, very sad baby. Aww. So as I said, she now lives with her grandparents who have recently moved into this new farmhouse. It is a converted barn and they bought the property to move into a bit of a bigger space so that Penny could grow up here. So the grandparents did used to live in a small little bungalow that did not have space for um, any children or any toddlers. So they've now moved into here to give Penny a life, I suppose. So this is actually the house that our beautiful Clash of One has built for um, the new pack. And she did such a fantastic job. Look at it. She also built another pack, but that one, um, no, she also built another house, but that one was a little bit too small for this family to move into. I do have to just make a little adjustment of adding a bedroom for our little Penny. So I am going to get rid of um, this room and make this into little Penny's bedroom. But it is so heckin' cute. <laughs> really, really cute. And she did such a good job. Okay, so just a little update. I haven't added too much. Just a few things that Penny will need. And this is now her little bedroom in here. So everybody is going to bed quite upset, obviously. So it's going to be a bit of an emotional start to this episode, but I'm super excited. And I really, really love this new world. This is um, Bridgerton on Bagley or whatever. <laughs> I call it Bridgerton on Bagley or Bridgerton Valley, but it is called Henford on Bagley. But it is so gorgeous, very like British. It was based on the Cotswolds, which is actually where I went um, last year. I went there on like a holiday, um, just a trip with my parents. Oh, there's forage balls and stuff here. We'll have to have a little look. Okay, so I've just realized at the moment we have got no food in the house so we need to order some groceries so why don't we order some of everything i don't really know what what we need the thing is even with recipes in sims like i don't even know what we use half the time we'll just get a little bit of everything eggs cheese milk flour uh bread we'll just get a little bit of everything i guess and then what time how does this even work when will that arrive we can also go ahead and get a chicken purchase some chickens why don't we get a couple of hens um we could get maybe one hen and a rooster and then maybe a black hen like a, an adult hen <gasps> where are they i hear a clack but i don't oh oh hi oh look at them oh hello hi oh oh hi baby oh look how cute they are Oh, they're so cute. So I think that Penny would want to name one of these chickens after um, after their mum. So we're going to call the hen chicken Anita. This one, what is your name? Cluckers. 
<laughs> okay, that's cute. We'll keep that. And what's your name? Fluff. Okay, Fluff, Anita, and Cluckers. What does this mean? Oh, you assign them to a chicken co-op. Scatter food nearby. And the eggs, we collect them at six every morning. Do we need to, like, purchase food for them? Actions. Create animal treats at the fridge. Friendly treat. Okay, so we can gather roaming chickens. Pull chickens in. Oh, how do we get that little alarm? Because what we don't want is we do not want foxes. Can we lock the door for everyone but arthur i think that's a good idea arthur also needs a wee and i've got him doing all of this stuff before he can <laughs> he's gonna wet himself okay we're gonna have a sim delivering oh wait are they already here <gasps> oh this is so classic with like the little bag okay why don't we get um what's her name again <laughs> Mabel, why don't we get Mabel to go and get the food? Accept the delivery. Love this. These doors are huge. Give us our food. Oh, he's bringing it in. Is he going to put it in our fridge? Oh, he puts it down there. Unload delivery bag. Oh my God. I literally feel like... <laughs> I feel like I'm at home right now. Like, obviously, my parents come in. They they um put it down, like, after shopping. They unload it. I literally feel like I'm at home. I love this. Although I am actually at home right now. Mabel's put all of the groceries into the fridge. Whatever doesn't belong in the fridge has gone into her inventory. Uh, no, I don't want to go to bar two, thanks. Right, why are you still here? Can you go home? Mabel, go and do a wee-wees. Right, what's this little tot doing? Okay, you're very sad because of your mummy. Um, So you've done a wee. You're going to then go scatter to food so once you've done your wee you can go ahead and serve breakfast eggs and toast for everybody okay cool i want to see um i want to see arthur scattering the food also we can actually get arthur to plant crops so why don't we go ahead and purchase some um oversized crops we can do aubergines how many can we plant down four of each lettuce mushroom pumpkins although it's not the season for pumpkins because we're in summer right so we'll do watermelons as well awesome and then he can plant his aubergines plant his lettuce plant his watermelons and plant some mushrooms there we go foodies oh you're sleepy oh sleepy cluckers oh look at you peeking out from the chicken co-op oh they look so cute can we actually talk to the chickens <gasps> give a chicken nugget of advice oh my god <laughs> That's quite savage. Socialize. Uh, yell it for chickening out. <laughs> <laughs> who did these was this some giri ninja who came up with these smother chickens with love oh my god penny's very hungry okay we're making breakfast now somewhat we are making it whether it will be of substantial quality we do not know hold on darling you don't need to worry just sit down can you sit on chairs no you can't go and sit over here and grandma will have it ready in just a second no i don't is that his daughter <laughs> She's like, let's go out um, to the lounge. You're gone. Why are you contacting us? You're going to terrify your poor daughter who is trying to move on with her life. This is not okay. God. No! Why are you getting that out? Milk bread. No. We are cooking some perfectly good eggs and toast. Put down the milk bread. I swear to God. These sims. Just, we need to keep an eye on them all the time until she actually finishes her. Right, go and sit down. Just sit down and be patient. Dinner's nearly ready or breakfast. What time of the day is it? Also, did he plant his crops? I thought he was out there planting his crops. Oh, he did. Go and water them. <laughs> Go and water them all. Instead of standing around the kitchen waiting for some foodies. Go do your water him. Oh, food's ready. Water and then you can have food. Okay, cool. Right, she's eating her eggs and toast. Come and grab a serving, little one. And then you can go ahead and grab a serving as well, Arthur. I love this. I love the design as well that Claire's gone for with this apartment. Actually, it's not an apartment. It is a, <laughs> it is a converted barn. Um, but I really love what, what she's done with it. It's beautiful. I think once they've all eaten, once they've all been fed and watered, can, can she interact with... Oh, look. Oh, we, oh, my God. Do you know what? This actually looks like a little bit, apart from those brown patches. It looks like the rabbit that I had when I was growing up. I'm going to try and find a picture for you lot because it looks like my rabbit <laughs> that I had when I was younger. Dang, I can't find any photos. I tried looking, but I can't find any. Um, So just trust me <laughs> that it looked like my rabbit that I had, apart from the brown dots. She was black and white. Actually, yeah, black and white little baba. Oh, I really do want to see the interactions between toddler and rabbit, though. Can we get you to come out? Oh, I'm getting really bad period pains. <laughs> this is not good. Okay, look at this little thing, for goodness sake. Oh, grandma's coming out with her. Oh, here we go. This is so cute. Oh, my God. Come on, darling. She's glitching behind her grandma. 
Okay, are you good? Do you need to be reset? <laughs> Can you talk? Socialize. Pat the bunny. Oh, look at this. Oh my oh. goodness. Oh, this is the cutest thing. <laughs> oh my goodness me. I can't. Oh no, don't leave. Come back to the bunny, baby. Pat the bunny. Oh my God, it's floppy ear. No, no, no. Look at the flop ear. Oh my God. <laughs> I love it. Please come. I want to adopt this bunny. Right. Can can Anita come out? Not Anita. Mabel. <gasps> Chat about the freezer bunny. Oh, God. I think what we'll do is we'll also we'll sort out this. Chat into the baby bunny. And then we'll go ahead and take them for afternoon lunch down at the pub. Why doesn't Arthur go ahead and kind of maybe interact with these chickens? So let's have him start socializing. Play with fluff. Feed fluff. Smother with love. Is she able to talk to the chickens? Bok bok to Anita. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so cute. Oh, she's talking. Oh, I just can't. Oh, look. The chicken has seen the rabbit. It's been a little bit glitchy. I'm assuming this is because of the patch and the update, maybe. Why don't you go ahead and talk about gardening? Oh, look at these two. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is too much. This is actually too much too soon. Oh, the rabbit's jumping up and down. I don't know why there's a lot of glitching. I am going to do a quick save. Oh, look at Arthur. Arthur's hugging his little chickens over here. Oh, this is just the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. This is just the most amazing thing. I love this. Can we all complain about chicken apocalypse? Can we all start interacting? I'm not sure why the toddler's walk is so glitched. I am assuming that is to do with potentially the new update or whatever. Maybe a glitch. Oh, look. Oh, please, if this is not the most purest thing you've ever seen, I don't know what is. Oh my goodness. Oh, has the bunny gone? I think the the wild rabbit's gone. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to call the chickens to the co-op. Um, So call them all in. And then we're going to go ahead and go for afternoon lunch. Um, a late lunch. Um, I don't know where the bunny's gone, but we didn't actually get to name that bunny. The one that looks like um my bunny. If I do find it again, like that exact same one, I am going to name it Tabby. Because that is what my baby bunny was called um growing up. Okay. Let's go go ahead and um, travel and we are going to go into the main town and have a look at the pub. I think that'll be super cool. They haven't been into the town yet, so we're going to go down to the Gnome's Arms Bar. I would probably call this more of a pub. I know that in Sims they call it a bar, but in England it would be more of like a pub. Serving like typical British lunches, um, you know, roast dinners, things like that. Fish and chips you'd get as well with classic mushy peas and tartar sauce very like british um okay Ooh, let's meet our like neighbors we've got ted roswell he looks very official also look at the like telephone box and everything this is so cool this world we can also get fresh produce from here as well so we've got grocery shop garden shop items i wonder what's in here i think what we'll do actually why don't we take them on in um and get them some afternoon lunch and then we can go ahead and explore the world i'm just having a little look so upstairs you've got your bathrooms everything like that they do have toilet paper in the bathroom as well and why don't we go and order some food so Arthur is probably gonna go for god look at all this food you've got meat pie mushroom soup um pumpkin scones yorkshire pud cottage pie i feel like Arthur's probably gonna go for the bangers and mash if there was something on here that was kind of like um ham egg and chips that is what my great uncle would go for but there's none of that even though this is a very british pack there's none of that so we're going to go with Arthur to get that. I think you can maybe get um, cottage pie. And then why don't we order food once again? And for Little Penny, we will just get some bangers and mash as well. And then we can all go ahead and sit down um, here together. Although she won't be able to sit down, will she? Unknown caller. Hang up. That's a <laughs> cold caller. I don't know what they're doing. Okay. So what's that? That is the cottage pie. And we've got the bangers and mash. That is for little penny so let's bring that on over here and we'll get penny to go and eat her bangers and mash and she needs to come over and sit down 
he that's his isn't it god they are so sad this is a very kind of sad start to their story i do know that but you know i thought it would be a bit of a different story for them and i thought it would be quite nice um for penny to actually have her family there with her and everything where on earth is she going <laughs> honey go inside oh she's putting a little sippy cup in here the toddlers are really glitched right now their walk is really really glitched oh she's gonna go and eat it over here <laughs> Look at the fireplace. Isn't that gorgeous? Super, super gorgy. Um, Mabel is feeling energized from an animal enthusiast trait. Also sad from the loss, but she's feeling convival as well. Look at this world. It just reminds me of the Cotswolds. Like, hands down, this is how the Cotswolds looks. I think there's even, like, a bridge similar. Like, there's a bridge like this in the Cotswolds. I do think they did actually base it off the Cotswolds, didn't they? Are you eating your food, my love? Eat your bangers and mash. Good girl. Right, she's eating it on the floor. Oh, this poor little toddler brought into the world. Her mum is no longer with us um, and she now has to live with her gran grandma and granddad. So it's going to be a bit of a difficult life for her. Things are going to be very different to how they normally would, but she does love her grandma and granddad a lot. So I think she's going to have a very well looked after life. We've got Derek McMillan here as well. And I really do like Derek. I think I want to have Arthur become quite good friends. Maybe there's like... A club that they could both join together um so let's actually really get Arthur to get to know um Derek also Derek's a little bit sad I'm not sure why maybe he's had a loss in the family too so maybe they can bond um over that we're gonna get Arthur to try and cheer him up obviously Arthur's very sad at the moment as well because of the loss of his daughter so perhaps they can kind of um discuss interests maybe he can kind of talk about his problems and arthur could probably do the same thing let's have a little look so first impression of derek is that derek is an interesting sim and the first impression of arthur is that arthur is an interesting sim um so they've kind of got the same first impression oh okay and derek is married to ian moody okay i love that so he's not sad about losing his partner or anything like that it could be losing somebody in the family though we do not know but i think we need um we need arthur to get to know derek and so that he's got a, a bit of a friend you know a little bit of a friend in the neighborhood let's all go here together okay what i think i do want to get is i want to buy some carrots for the rabbits um and also these are garden shop items so let's have a little look if there's plants or things we could probably go ahead and grab them oh this is cute also look how gorgy this is you can go fishing here as well oh yeah so these are the grocery shop items so are there any carrots that we can get there's no carrots and i wonder where we get the carrots from then i'm guessing that's through the online order because if we had carrots carrots at least we could give the rabbit carrots oh where's the little new house where is it that one that's the other oh i'll look at it in a minute carrots okay cool let's get all of the carrots some charming mushroom conserve Ooh. also how do we make the conserves or the com what are they called conserves converses canned fit tinned things <laughs> Maybe if we get some things like this. Also, let's get some animal treats. So we'll get a couple. Um, Blackberry. What would you need? You'd need like blackberry and sugar, right? To make canned goods. What are they made of? Cherries? Let's get a couple of things. Cowberry jam, custard. Ooh, fishy protein treat. I'm really intrigued. Also, let's get a cross stitch hoop. We can have, um, perhaps Mabel in her spare time decides to learn how to cross stitch. Um, just to kind of take her mind off of everything that is going on, you know. Um, okay, let's grab them. So they can be found in his inventory. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and send them all home. She's still making her way walking <laughs> to the centre over here. Everybody's really, really sad, unfortunately. She is desperate for fun. I get it. You come to... Oh my god. Did you just see that glitch? She just went into her grandma's arms. She's desperate for fun. Like, you're coming into a town square. Very boring. You know, you've got everybody going shopping for different things. It's not that fun for a little Todd. These two look cute. Who are they? They're Meredith and um, um, Milton... You've got Michael Bell, Creature Keeper. What does that mean? I wonder what Creature Keeper means. I guess maybe that he looks after animals. I don't know. Okay, so can we... Right, I'm going to put that on the floor for her. Can we go ahead and like load all this into, into the fridge? How do you select it? 
Aha, here we go. Select it all. Actually, apart from the carrot, it's just in case we see the rabbit. So I'm wondering, does she she must need something like wool, maybe, to be able to start doing that cross stitching. If we go ahead and order a delivery, oh no, it's all groceries and stuff. Where do we get wool from? Hmm. Ooh, there's a fox nearby. We need to be wary of that. Let's actually go ahead. What I'm gonna do is let's move some of these and make room for perhaps some cows and llamas so if we just kind of we'll keep some, what, what we've got if we just move it over and then have a little bit of space here for the cows and llamas um we can kind of let's see animal shed right so we're gonna need a little bit more room so if that's okay <laughs> right let's move this all again well not in sims i think it's <laughs> i think it's um it's wool in Sims. <laughs> my mum just came in. I'm not alive, mum. I'm recording for YouTube. But my mum just came in because she heard me talking about cross stitching <laughs> with a note that said, Fred for cross stitching, not wool. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, I don't know though. I'm going to have to have a look. Right, I'm going to delete all these so we can get our animal shed and then put that down there hopefully that should be fine now okay hopefully that should be a little bit better now okay we're not <laughs> offers too sad to woohoo let's go ahead and purchase um a llama no let's do a white llama and let's do a spotted cow oh wait we can only have one. Ooh, do we get a cow or do we get a llama llama would produce wool wouldn't it? So llamas must be kept in an animal shed. They produce wool, which can be used to reduce the cost of cross stitch projects and can be traded to the creature keeper for animal clothing. Ooh, I think as much as I do want to kind of be traditional and go for a cow, um, the cows would give us milk. So because I kind of want to start having her do cross stitch, let's get a llama and we can get some wool. Oh, hi llama. <laughs> Okay, why don't we actually get Mabel to come on in here and, you know, give some love to the llama. Clean the white llama. Uh, give a llama a nugget of advice. Socialize. Ask if llama corns are real. Tell jokes. Smother with love. Cute. And then we can go ahead and clean and maybe shear the llama as well. What is our llama called? It's called Cotton. <laughs> cotton. Okay, cool. Ooh, it's not very happy. Oh, it's happy now. Oh, look. <laughs> Oh my god, the little noises. Oh my god, please don't spit at us. Oh, this is cute. Oh, that was so cute. Oh, he's happy. Is it a female or a male? Age, young adult. We don't actually know. He is actually clean. Oh, he's loving that. Oh, look. Oh, that's so cute, little baby. The ears going back and everything. Oh, he likes... Oh my god, calm down, little baba. Oh, the shear's coming out. So, she's actually going to get some wool. There wasn't much to shear, was there? So, what did we get from that? Hold on a minute, pause. We got some six white llama wool. Okay, so how do we... If we open the notebook... So now, can we stitch? We still can't stitch on any on this. How does this work? There's eggs and toast on the side. <laughs> Why don't we actually go and put these in here? Right, this little tot needs some fun. So she's playing on her iPad. He's coming on out to smother the clockers with love. He's just feeling so sad. So he's going to go and give all of the little chicks some love. The llama, did we feed the llama? Feed cotton. Oh, <laughs> I was like, why are we giving the llama cotton? Surely that is not a good food. Like, that is not substantial. But the llama's name is cotton. I think we need to change the name. Oh, uh, we need to wait until it comes out. Okay. <laughs> We're going to rename the llama because I'm not going to get mixed up with having a llama called cotton and thinking that we are giving it food as cotton. I wonder how this works then. How are we going to be able to cross stitch? Oh, spending time with an animal really cheers Mabel up. And hugging the llama is just like heaven and it's like hugging a cloud for her. That is so heckin' sweet. Okay, why don't you actually go ahead and call the chickens in? Um, Send them on into the coop. AKA the chicken co-op. Um, and you are already in. You're on into sleep as well. Just that so we don't want any foxes to be eating any of our chickens anytime soon. And why don't they all go and watch a movie together? So what about Super Kids? Oh wait, we can't watch it with the kiddo as well. Is she not able to? Okay, that's fine. Maybe we can get Mabel to kind of read her to sleep. Um, Penny's very kind of sad at the moment. She's still struggling um, after her mum's now gone. So let's get Mabel to go and give her some love and just read her a bedtime story to go to bed. Oh, they've both kind of come on in here as well. <laughs> 
Oh, it's just really sad. Obviously, as I said, this is a pretty sad start to their story. Um, there is a lot going on in their lives right now. Um, but I think it'll be nice. It'll be nice to watch her. Why don't you go and cry it out? It'll be really nice to watch Mabel grow up with her grandparents. Obviously, it is very different to how um, it normally would be. But I think it'll be really, really sweet for them. Um, you know, it'll be really sweet as well for Mabel and Arthur to have their grandchild around and be able to look after the, her and have her in their life as much as maybe normally that she wouldn't be a part of their life as much as they might like. Because, you know, people get busy. Uh, parents get busy with children so they might not get time whereas now obviously they will get to spend a lot of time with her but obviously she is growing up without both of her parents so it's going to be a very different life for her but hopefully she can still be successful and hopefully she can still live a good life here maybe even tomorrow we can get her to help out um her is she able to help out her granddad yet with doing that or is it the children i can never remember we'll have to we'll have to find that out and see if she can help out um her granddad with water and plants we could also go ahead and get them all to bake together tomorrow which i think could be super super fun and i think we're gonna wrap it up here for our first episode of our cottage living gameplay story let me know what you think of the whole story behind it all down in the comment section below obviously it is a very different kind of story it's not just like you know a sim moving into um bridgerton on bagley and living their life it is a little bit different obviously penny is going to be our main focus with the grandparents there as well but she's our main focus you know aging her up and um having her looking after the crops as well with her grandparents and then seeing where her future goes where what happens to her maybe she'll meet someone in the world you just don't know if you did enjoy this video please do give it a like let me know down in the comments if you are excited for this series like i am and don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my videos and turn on those post notifications so that you can be the first to see each and every video thank you so so much for watching i'm mega excited to carry this series on let me know if you are too and i will see you next time take care tads out